Good morning, good morning, good morning. Let me get you guys up here. See if I can not teach blind for a moment. Slow. 
giving yourself time to really open up to the lower back and buttocks. And then one more time like this, just shifting the legs from side to side, letting this happen naturally, organically, without force, letting whatever touches the floor touch the floor without judgment. And then from here, go ahead and release the legs, place them right back down to the floor. It'll be nice and wide. We'll press the hands into the floor, and we're gonna just draw ourselves back, knees wide, big toe mounts of the feet together. Hips come back towards the heels, giving you a nice full elongation of the spine here. For some people, this is a really nice stretch for the back, and some people need a little bit of extra help here with your hands on blocks. So you can let your hands rest on the blocks, and this will give you a little bit more to work with with the shoulders. So again, we're focusing more on shoulders and neck today. You can sit back onto a blanket on your heels here. You can even let your arms come underneath of your head. And let's take one more breath just like this. Wherever you are is fine. And then we'll go ahead and move the blocks out of the way if we were using them and walk all the way over to the left. Stretching your arms as far to the left as you can and reaching your right buttock back towards your heel. So you're stretching from the right pinky finger, the right middle finger even, all the way down into that right glute and hip area. So stretching out, letting the head rest wherever it goes, really opening up the side body on the right, maybe even feeling this coming into the outer right shoulder, into the right shoulder blade, maybe down into the right ribs. And then coming all the way across and over to the left, or to be over to the right, and doing the same thing on the left. We're really drawing that left arm away from us as we reach that left body back, Stretching into the rib cage. Taking those deep breaths in and out. Looking for that outer stretch in the shoulder and the shoulder blade as well. Let's come right back at the center again. Reaching the arms forward, bringing the hips back. And then nice and slow, we're going to roll forward into hands and knees, just like we always do. Once you're in your hands and knees pose, hands come underneath the shoulders, unless you have some issues with the wrist, and the hands have to come forward. As you inhale, let your belly draw down, lift the center of your chest, lift your hips up. And then as you exhale, round your spine, bring your chin towards your chest, really roll into the upper back. Inhale, release from that position. Let everything come out, stretching through the center of the heart. Exhaling, finding that movement in the upper back, which is a little bit more mobile than the mid back. So we have a little bit more range of motion here. And giving ourselves time to really retract the shoulder blades and then wind them back into the ears again. We'll do this maybe one or two more times, finding that nice flow with the breath. Exhaling for the contraction. Inhaling for the release. And then one more time, just like this. And inhaling slow, beautiful. Come back at the center. And we're gonna go ahead and rotate into the right. So we're gonna do what we call barrel rolls. The core stays engaged. We're going to shift the weight into the right shoulder a bit. Come towards the right shoulder. Come back around the right to the right hip. All the way over to the left hip. All the way over to the left shoulder. And across again. So we're just finding this nice big rotation. And just trying to get into the body a little bit more. So as you move through your body here, you might notice that you want to rotate a little bit more. Maybe one elbow comes to the floor and the other arm stays straight. We're just looking for a way to really open up into the side waist, into the shoulders, into the hips, into the body as a whole.
making these nice big circles. Maybe listening for some snap crackles and pops because they're there. They might be in the shoulders, they might be in the wrists, they might be in the hips or the knees, you never know. Just moving that synovial fluid around the joints, giving ourselves some time to really move into our practice today. Let's reverse direction, so we'll move to the left, really rotate round, come towards that left hip all the way over to the right, back to the right shoulder and over to the left again. Big circles, stretching out what you can here, maybe dropping an elbow, maybe both elbows, maybe lifting through one and then the other. Maybe you never come to the elbows well. Maybe this movement just happens from the upper body. It's just a stirring of the upper body. So a couple more times here, maybe like four or five, really just trying to get into the movement of the body, the movement of the spine, the movement of the shoulders. All those joints cracking, all those snap crackles and pops. Whatever sounds you're making, it's fine. Let's do one more. Awesome. Let's come all the way back into center. Find that nice, strong hands and knees. You might have been out of alignment at that point. Walk your hands forward. Tuck your toes under. Pull your core in. And let's draw back into a down dog. Now you can go ahead and place your hands on blocks here. We're going to place those feet about hip distance apart. We're just going to walk out our dog because down dog actually is really good for the shoulders and for the neck. So if you just let your head hang, instead of looking up or holding yourself in a place with your shoulders, let your head hang. See if the chin will come towards the chest. And just give yourself the opportunity to let that nice heavy head of yours to stretch out your neck. Take a couple more steps so back and forth, side to side. Let the shoulder blades draw apart here. Press down to the base of the thumb and the first finger. Look at the external rotation in the upper arms. One more time. Lift both your heels as high as you can. Really stretch your buttocks towards the sky. Really bring your chest closer towards your thighs. And then lower your heels towards the ground. And let's walk our feet forward towards our hands. All the way into the front of the mat. Get there whatever way you can. And then from that front of your mat position, you can go ahead and place your blocks if you're going to need them for sun salutations today. Roll all the way up. And when I say roll up, I want you to engage your core, press into the floor, roll up vertebrae by vertebrae, so that your head actually comes up last, and your arms can rest down by your sides. Once your head is up to the ceiling, go ahead and bring your arms up as well. We're going to start just like we typically would. We're going to grab hold of this left wrist with our right hand and pull gently to the right. And as we do this, we're pressing down through the left pinky toe side of our foot. So we're opening up all this space in the left side of our body. And we'll turn our head and look past the left bicep. Looking for a nice long stretch here. A little bend in the knees so we're not hyperextending, we're not pushing everything forward. Keeping the hips forward, not turning them towards the TV or video. Inhale, come back to center. Grab that right wrist, reach to the left, so pulling gently with that left hand, not turning the hips to the right, but keeping the hips forward, and looking past this right bicep or right arm. Keeping the hips level, finding that nice deep stretch. Excellent, inhale, come right back into center. We'll exhale all the way down. Interlace your fingers behind your back, bring the arms back and behind you. And then from here, keep the shoulders down, engage your core, push through your feet, and turn your head to the left. It's okay if the arms don't go away from the back, just stretch them back for right now. We're gonna change that in a second. Come forward, and then go ahead and look over the right shoulder. Inhale, come forward again. Release the hands, place your hands right onto the lower back. Let there be a little length in your lower back as you roll your shoulder blades back and hug your elbows towards each other. Lift through the center of the sternum or the center of the chest, 
press through your feet, little bend in the knees, really lift through the center of the heart, and start to bring your chin back just a little bit. Don't just throw your head back so that your shoulders have to catch your ears. Instead, keep the shoulders down, lift the top of the head away from your neck, and then reach back. Excellent. Go ahead and bring the chin back to the center. Inhale, reach the arms up again. And then from here, we're going to exhale. We're going to round the body, reaching the hands forward. So interlace your fingers above your head. Turn the hands inside out. And then exhale, round as if you were coming into that cat-cow position again. But you're pressing your hands forward, rolling the shoulders towards the ears a bit. And then inhale, come right back into center. We're going to do that two more times. Exhale, contract the core, create that nice rounding. And then inhale, come right back up again. Let's do that one more time. Exhale, contract the core. And then inhale, come right back up again. Sweep the arms back and behind you. And then forward and up. Back and behind you, as far back as you can with that rotation, and then forward and up. And we're doing this here first because we also are going to do this in lunges. Forward and then back. Beautiful. Inhale, forward and up. Exhale and back. Trying to create a nice open arm spread the whole time. One more. Excellent. Reach your arms all the way up. And then exhale and forward fold. Bend your knees on your way down. Let the top of your head just hang. A lot of this uh, tension in the neck can be helped if we can just release our knee to look up. So letting our head just hang down, having faith that we're really just working in our bodies today. And then inhale, place your hands onto your shins, take the top of your head forward, and then exhale again and forward fold. Inhale, step your right leg back and find your lunge. Hold this lunge here by pressing your right heel back and keeping your left knee over your ankle. So just because we're working into the shoulders and neck today doesn't mean that we completely forget about the lower body. So let's go ahead and lower this right knee to the floor and untuck the toes. Pressing down through our left foot, inhale, reach your arms up. Excellent. So from this position, we're going to start in this upward facing uh, lunge position, letting the hips draw down. Big deep breath in, and then exhale, turn your palms to face the screen and pull your shoulder blades down your back, elbows come in towards the ribs, looking like a W a little bit. And then inhale and reach back up. Exhale, really draw the elbows down, letting the shoulders come down the back, lifting through the center of your sternum. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, contract the core as you exhale, really draw down. Inhale, come back up. Last time, exhale, draw down. Beautiful. Let's bring those hands together in front of our chest and inhale, lift all the way back. Grab hold of your right wrist with your left hand and pull gently to the left, letting that right hip stay low and breathing. Inhale as you come back to center. Exhale as you place your hands down onto your blocks or floor. Tuck your back toes, lift your back knee, and now on your next exhalation, carry that right foot forward. Inhale as you come all the way up, reach your arms overhead, take a nice stretch back. And then exhale, take your hands all the way down, find your blocks again, or floor. Inhale, hands to shins. Exhale, forward fold. And then inhale, step your left leg back, finding that nice strong lunge, pushing back through your left heel right knee over your ankle. Lower your left knee down to the ground. Untuck your toes, sweep your body and arms upwards, let the arms come all the way up. Chest is facing forward. We don't want one hand forward from the other, so nice and even. Exhale, lower the shoulder blades down your back, try to bring your elbows towards the base of the ribs, and then inhale, lift back up. Palms facing forward. Exhale, draw it in, open up through the center of the chest. Inhale, come right back. Exhale, pulling it down, shoulders down, elbows in. Inhale, back up. Exhale, shoulders down, neck is long, top of the head rises. Inhale, back up. One more. Exhale, pull it down. Inhale, bring the arms up, grab the left wrist, pull gently to the right. Open 
up through that whole outside left hip. Big deep breath in and out. And then inhale back into center. Exhale, lower your hands down to the floor blocks. Tuck your back toes. Inhale, lift your back knee. Exhale, step forward. Inhale, come all the way up. Big stretch to the sky. Exhale, release the arms down. This time I'm going to face you real quick and I want you to take your left arm and bring it out in front of your side. So you're stretching it from the pinky finger up towards the ceiling. So palm, thumb is facing down. And then from this position, we're going to bend or hinge right at the elbow and take the back of the hand across to the lower back. So from the back side, it would look like this. You're going to go ahead and grab the wrist of your left hand and pull to the right. So you're going to bring this hand over as far as you feel comfortable going. You might have your hand wrapped around the outer edge of your hip. You might not. You can go ahead and interlace your right hand into your left and then let the elbow come out like a chicken wing. Kind of sounds weird. And then from here, turn and look over your left shoulder. If your hand doesn't make it across your waist, that's okay. You can go ahead and do this from the, uh, wherever the hand rests. You can also make a fist with your right hand and place it right into the palm of the left. And that'll get you a little bit more into the arm. Pull the core in, turn the head. Take a deep breath in and out. And then release. Nice. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. So your right arm comes out. Palm is facing behind you. Thumb is facing down. Hinge at the elbow. Take the hand behind you, then go ahead and see where it lands and grab hold of the wrist and pull just a little bit more. Not yank, but just a gentle pull. Let it wrap around the side waist. Maybe we're interlacing the fingers, making a little chicken wing with that left arm. Shoulder blade draws down and we'll turn the head to the right. Or you can make that fist with that left arm and press it into the palm, pulling the core in, standing tall. Holding here, breathing, trying not to turn the hips. And then inhale back into center, beautiful. Reach the arms all the way back up, big stretch to the sky. Exhale, take the hands all the way back down, forward fold. Inhale, hands to shins, lengthen your spine. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, right leg's gonna come back again. We're going to once again find our way into a lunge. The right knee can stay lifted here, or you can place the knee on the ground, blanket underneath the knee if you need it, of course. Push back through your right heel, keep the left knee over your ankle, no matter what, if your legs are up like this. And then from here, reach your arms up to the sky. Same thing, you're in a nice high lunge this time, reaching the arms up. Perfect. We're going to take hold of this right hand to the outside of the left knee, keep the left knee moving forward, and the left arm's going to come back. And then from here, we're going to take the knuckles of the left hand and wrap them around the right side waist, just like we did before. Left knee stays over the ankle, breathing here, holding here. Back knee can be down if you want it to be. You can take the knuckle side of the right hand and press it against the outside of the left knee if you want. Stay with it. Keep breathing. One more breath. You can turn your head and look behind you if your balance is good. And then inhale and bring those arms all the way back up. Exhale, take those hands down to your blocks. Inhale, step back into your plank. Maintaining a strong shoulder girdle here, you can hold your plank. You can put your knees down on the ground. You can have your hands on blocks or the floor, but then we're gonna lower down or take knees, chin, chest. And inhale and lift the heart. Untuck the toes. Little bend in the elbow. Shoulders down away from the ears so the neck is long and lift through the center of the chest and through the chin. One more breath. Exhale, take it all the way back to down dog. We discussed this earlier. Your down dog can have your hands on blocks or on the floor. You can let your chest come closer to your thighs here. And you're gonna let that head be nice and heavy. 
Let your chin come towards the chest a little bit, not by forcing it to, but letting gravity do the work. You can look towards the navel here, breathing slow, deep inhales and exhales. Taking two more breaths, just like this, really letting there be a nice, strong, long neck for this position. And then on our next inhalation, we're gonna step that right foot forward. However you get there is fine. The right knee's over top of your ankle. You're gonna push back through your left heel. Remember, you can place your left knee on the floor. We've discussed that option. Inhale and reach yourself up. Arms come overhead. Awesome. Let's go ahead and take this left hand to the outside of the right knee. Reach our right arm back. And then we're going to go ahead and stay here. Or we're going to take that um, left hand and flip and thumb down. And place the round, the the right hand behind the left foot hip. There we go. Took me a moment. Hold here. You can take the knuckles of the left hand to the outside of the right knee and twist a little deeper. Staying with your breath. Nice inhales and exhales. You can look back behind you if you want. One more breath. Inhale, reach the arms up and overhead. Exhale, take the hands down to the floor. Great job, guys. Keep yourself right where you're at. I want you to go ahead and spin your left heel to the floor. Your right knee's gonna stay over your ankle. And just for the ha-has today, we're gonna place a block behind our right ankle if we need it. We're gonna come all the way up into warrior two. So your arms come out to the side, right knee over top of the ankle, rolling your shoulder blades down your back. So it's just a regular warrior two. Let's go ahead and bring our hands back and behind us. Interlace our fingers, move the arms away from midline, so away from us. Keep that knee bent, staying within strength. And then we're going to hold on to the left wrist with our right hand and pull that hand so that the hand comes to the outside of the hip. So if it doesn't come to the outside of the hip, you'll just rest it right at the lower back. Wherever it goes is fine. Bend that right knee. Take your right hand on top of the left or on your right thigh. Stay here, turn your head to the left. Big deep breaths, let the shoulders draw down. One more breath. We're gonna keep that hold and we're gonna start to straighten our right leg. Moving our right hip underneath of us. So like keeping this nice engagement of this left hand. And then we'll slide this right hand down to the inside of the leg, rolling that left shoulder back, holding onto the thigh if we want to, or just letting the hand rest on our lower back. You can also take your hand to the block behind your ankle, engaging that right thigh, and rolling both shoulder blades down your back. Then from here, depending on your comfortability, you're either gonna turn your head to face up, Maybe look forward, maybe you'll look down. Try not to roll your right shoulder forward. Stay strong as you move your left hip back. I know that left arm is probably quivering just a little bit. One more breath. Beautiful, hold on to this block with your right hand. Bend your right knee, release the left arm up to the sky, get that blood flow back in there. Great job, hold on to that block as you lift it. Come through center, so straightening both legs, both feet face forward. We're gonna place this block behind our left ankle for when we need it. And in the meantime, we're gonna reach the arms up. Big stretch to the sky, little bend in the knees. Exhale, roll the elbows towards the ribs, open the center of the chest, let the chin lift. Inhale, come right back up. Exhale as if you're pulling something down from the sky, letting those uh, side bodies stretch. Inhale, lift back up. Exhale, one more time. Inhale, come right back up. Exhale, take the elbows down behind you. Interlace the fingers if you can, or let your hands rest on your hips. Move the arms away from your back if you can, or let your hands rest on your lower back or hips. And then as you exhale, we're gonna come into a forward fold. 
So letting the arms come overhead, top of the head comes towards the floor, arms come overhead towards the ground, shifting that weight forward towards the balls of the feet. Big deep breaths in and out. Stretching into your lower back and neck, feeling that weight of your head just transition towards the floor. Maybe it touches, maybe it doesn't. One more breath, just like this heavy head though, guys. Really heavy. Bend your knees, press through your feet, come all the way up slowly. Nice. Turn that left foot out, keep your right foot facing forward. And then from here, we're gonna go ahead and come back into warrior two. Arms come out to the side. The arms might be a little tired here, so just keeping that in mind. Then let's go ahead and release this right arm and place that right hand to the outside of our left waist. You can grab the wrist and pull if you'd like to. You can keep the hand onto the uh, palm, really just bending the knee. You can turn your head and look over that right shoulder. So we're just utilizing this previous posture that we did just standing in front of the end of the mat there, and we're utilizing it in other poses. Holding here, just breathing. Strong legs. Strong breath. Maybe we can wrap the right hand around the hip or around the thigh. Maybe that's something that feels good today. Maybe it just stays on our lower back. And then from this position, we're gonna to start to straighten this left leg. Engage that left thigh, reach the left arm away. Let's slide it down. Wherever we go is fine. You might not have as good of a grip on this side or it might be the best grip. You can also try and bring the hand down to the block, but you're still keeping the stretch in your shoulders. So you're keeping the shoulders away from the ears. Moving that right hip back, engaging that left thigh, staying with our breath, only going as low as we can when we don't lose the triangle position. Keep the spine long. Stay breathing. Stay breathing. Keep that left shoulder back behind you. Remember, you can turn your head in whatever position you want to here. One of them's going to feel better on your neck. Last breath. Awesome. Bend your left knee. Release that right arm. Come straight up to the sky. Woo. Feel that arm, all that blood flow back. And then lift this block up with your left hand. Place both hands in front of you. Great job, guys. Place that block right down in front of you. And then from this position, we're gonna come a little further forward so that when we come into a forward fold, we can place our hands onto that block. So hands to the hip bones, shifting the hips back, left hand to the block. So that left hand's gonna come right under the center of your chest here. Now you can have your block at the highest height. Some people aren't using blocks at all, in which case your hand will come to the floor. Doesn't really matter. Left hand's gonna stay on this block, and then we're gonna reach this right arm straight up to the sky. So we start here, and we've done this pose before. Reach up to the ceiling, roll your shoulder blades back. And then if you can, see if you can flip the palm of the right hand, and we'll do this one last bind here, and take that hand to the left hip. You can turn your head to look up, and start to really stretch into the front of the chest, keeping the shoulders down. And then we'll take that right arm straight up to the sky and take that right hand right back down to where it came from. So the right hand can come to the block. It's right underneath of your chest. And then we'll just bring this left arm straight up to the sky, big stretch. Rotation in the lower back a little bit here. Just more stretch in the twist or more twist in the stretch, twist in the stretch. And then we'll take the knuckles of the left hand and just wrap them around the right side or as far over there as we can get them. And then we're just gonna draw the attention into the shoulders, not rolling the right shoulder in, but keeping the shoulders back. Shifting that weight towards the balls of the feet, just breathing, staying with our nice twist, giving ourselves the opportunity to unwind the 
tight tension that we keep in our shoulders and neck. Release that left arm. Come all the way back down to your block. Bend both your knees. Go ahead and just place that block over to the right. We're going to stay on wide leg for just a moment longer. We're going to walk the heels in once and then the toes in so that we can get a little bit uh, closer of a stance here. And we're going to bend both our knees and place our hands onto our thighs. So when you place your hands onto your thighs, you bend both your knees, your shoulders are going to come into your ears, much like you see me having them right now. From this position, I'm going to ask you to drop your right shoulder forward as you turn to the left. So to do that, turn your fingertips to the inside of the leg, drop your right shoulder forward, and look towards the left. This should get into that space between your shoulder blades. Unwind, come back into center, and let's do the same thing to the left. So wrapping the left hand to the inside of the leg, dropping the left shoulder forward and looking to the right. So really just pressing in. That left leg is really being your balance here, your, your support. Inhale, come back into center, press through your feet. Your stance went a little bit more narrow here, which is delightful. So we're going to keep that delightful narrow stance. We're going to turn the right foot out and the left foot in. So the left foot turns well in, the right foot turns well out. We're coming into a warrior one, so your feet are a little closer together than they would be in warrior two, and both your hips face forward. From here, you can have your blocks nearby if you need to, but you might not. We're going to go ahead and interlace the fingers behind our back and just roll those arms back again. Lift the center of your chest, and see what's happening here. And then from this position, we'll take what we call reverse prayer. So if that happens, I'm going to turn around. You guys just stay right where you're at. That happens when we take one palm and then the other together behind our back. And we just fish that space up, 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 up between our shoulder blades as far as we can. The right foot's forward. The left foot's back behind you. We have that nice, strong warrior one stance. You can bend your right knee to get here. And we're supporting the lower back by engaging the core and lifting the center of our chest. Chin lifts as well. Hold here. Try not to grip the mat with your toes. Stay here for three breaths. Two. And one. Start to straighten your right leg. And lift a little higher. Doesn't matter where the hands are on your back. And then as you exhale, start to forward fold over your right leg, finding a happy little hamstring stretch in addition to your prayer hands. Let those elbows not roll down by your sides, but keep pressing the palms together as best as you can. You can also grip the elbows instead of having the palms together. One more breath. Awesome. Come all the way up by bending your right knee. Release your hands. Rotate your wrists. That's also really good for people who um, type a lot. Bring your arms up and overhead. And then let's go ahead and bring those hands forward. We're going to take the left arm and bend it so that we create an L shape. And we're going to take the right elbow and cross at the elbows. You can grab the um, shoulders here and just hold. Or you can bring your palms together in front of you, moving the forearms away dropping the shoulders down, pulling the core in. From this position, we're going to start to bring the elbows in towards the chest, towards the belly. We're going to shift our weight into this right leg and start to lift the left leg up, coming into a very fancy warrior three with eagle arms. Hold here. Two breaths. Press through that right foot. Let's swing this left knee in towards our belly and come into full eagle, crossing that left uh, knee over the right and squeezing the legs tightly together. You can tap your left toes behind your ankle if that's in your practice. Shoulders down, arms up. You can have your left foot on a block if you want. We're going to come all the way out, release the arms. Wonder how we got here, <laughs> and then we're going to go into it again on the other side. So the right leg is going to come back, 
Remember, you're not in a warrior two, so you're a little bit more narrow in your stance. Right toes are facing your right shoulder, hips are facing forward here. So remembering that there's that modification I mentioned towards the last part where you can just grab the elbows here if it doesn't work with prayer. Take the palms together, fish them up the spine, engage your core, roll your shoulders down. As you take a deep breath in, lift through the top of your head. As you exhale, start to bring the body down over a straight left leg, finding that hamstring stretch, keeping your elbows from rolling towards the floor. Head is heavy. Staying breathing. Nice inhales and exhales. Last two. Last one. Let's go ahead and come up by bending that left knee. We're going to reach those arms to the sky. Big stretch to the sky here. Finding that nice warrior one stance. Hips are level. Engage the lower belly. Engage the core. Pull the pelvic floor up. Bring the arms forward, make an L with your right arm, an L with your left, and then cross your right elbow over your left. You can, excuse me, left elbow over right, there we go. So interlacing the hand, rolling the shoulder blades back, lifting the arms up, moving the forearms away, holding here and breathing, staying strong, Keep breathing here. Last breath. Bring the elbows in. Press down through your left foot. Carry your right leg in. And then let's bring it all the way back. Moving that four, those forearms forward. Flexing the back foot. Standing leg is strong. Three breaths. Two. One, bend the knee, let's carry that right knee right into our chest. Woo, this is not a good balance for me today. Cross your legs, sit back, maybe wrap your toes behind your calf or place your foot on a block to help you with stability. Lift the elbows, drop the shoulders. One more breath. And out we go, feet to the floor, arms to the sky. Exhale, forward fold. Shake out your head. Take deep breaths, especially if you were holding your breath in those balances. Great job, guys. Perfect. One last breath here if you'd like. Okay, so we're going to come to a seated position for a moment. So blocks are helpful with this. So is a low chair or a table. But if you don't have blocks, you can do it on the floor. I'm going to show you both. The way we're going to come into this is that we're going to come in as if we're coming into puppy pose. So your hips are going to stay over top of your knees here. And then we're going to take one elbow and then the other elbow onto our blocks. Now you might need more height here for more help. The palms come together and the fingertips face the ceiling. And then from this position, we're going to let the head hang towards the floor. Notice my chest isn't on the ground, but my head is hanging down. So some people staying low is going to be an easier managed, more manageable thing to do. You can also do this on your desk just laying, um, you'll do it from standing instead. You can come higher, ask for a little bit more stretch in the uh, shoulders. Notice that the palms are together and the fingertips face up. And if you don't have blocks nearby, it's not as deep of a stretch, but you are definitely able to still do it. Same thing, chest will come down and the palms will face up. And that's going to get deep into the shoulders, and we're going to hold this for about five breaths longer. So I know you've been here for a bit, so 
Wherever you are, you're gonna hold for five breaths longer. Just letting there be opening where it needs to be. Last breath. Great job. Then from here, let's go ahead and come out of this posture. Move the blocks out of the way. And we're gonna lay back down onto our stomachs. But this time we're going to change a crossing of our arms. So the first thing that you're gonna do is lay down on your belly and come onto your elbows. Let's take it into a sphinx first. first. So the palms are down, roll your shoulder blades back and just let the center of your chest lift. Once you're here, let the top of your head come up. And imagine that you're letting those shoulder blades kind of gently lift the center of your chest. So we're not dropping into our ears here. We're holding everything long. The neck is long the whole time. So much of our time we bring our chin down. So letting there be length in the back of the neck. Great. Turn the palms out so that the middle fingers face the uh, outside corners of your mat. Press to the base of the thumb and the first finger and see if you can lift your elbows off the floor. Roll the shoulders back, engage your core, sit up nice and tall. Try not to over tuck in the glutes. Last breath. And then take it all the way back down. So a block nearby might be helpful for this, but you might not need it at all. We're going to cross the arms in front of us. So let's start with the right arm. Left hand comes to the floor. You're gonna slide that right arm underneath of the left and drop the elbow to the floor. Left elbow crosses the right, and we're gonna to start to walk our hands away from each other, away from the center of our chest. And you can either let your chin rest onto your arms, or some people really don't like that feeling. And you can have a block in front of you and let your head rest on the block. So the left arm is in front of the right, and you're stretching both arms apart to really get into the shoulders. Hopefully the upper back and shoulder area. One more breath here, and we have to switch. So coming out, this time the right hand comes to the mat, left elbows in front, right elbow in front of the left, walk the hands apart, and again, just letting the body stretch. You might notice one side's much easier than the other, maybe not. Really just trying to get into that shoulder blade, shoulder blade and letting the neck relax. And one more breath here. Let's come up nice and slow. Hands come to the mat. And we're going to press back into a child's pose, just giving ourselves a nice, long spinal reset. Awesome. So before we move into Shavasana, we'll do a little bit shorter Shavasana today, just because we haven't been exceptionally active. I'd like you to find a comfortable seated position Maybe that means you're sitting on your heels. Maybe that means you're sitting cross-legged. Maybe that means you're um, sitting with wide legs. And we're gonna do one last shoulder, uh, shoulder stretch, which should help the neck as well. So I'm turning behind or backwards here, and I'm going to show you how to do this with a modification. My right hand has the strap in it. I'm holding it to the sky. The 
to bend my right elbow and let the elbow come to the ceiling as the hand comes down. Left arm comes out, palm faces behind me, and we're going to grab the bottom of the strap. You can stay here, or you can start to walk that left hand and right hand towards each other, grabbing the strap wherever you go, or letting go of the strap completely and letting the head rest into the arm. So we're bringing that elbow as far back as we can and breathing. We have the strap available if you need it. Trying not to turn the chest away towards the left, but keeping everything forward. We'll be here for another breath. And then we're going to release. And we'll just take it to the, same, to the other side. So same thing, the strap would be in the left hand. The right arm comes out. Right hand comes to your back, left elbow bends, we grab the strap, or we grab the hand, or we grab the shirt, or if you have really long hair, you can do it with your hair. Breathe in and out, keep the core engaged. Stay right where you're at. From here, we're going to let this left arm hang down to the mat, wherever it is, whether you're cross leg or not. And then you're going to lower your right ear towards your right shoulder. Reach the right arm up, place the hand onto the left ear. Give yourself a stretch, not by pulling, just by letting the weight of the arm help to facilitate a stretch. behind the nape of your of the base of your skull and then from here let the chin come to the chest and the hands just hang or excuse me the elbows just hang and the hands just are a little extra weight and then lift the head up center of chest comes up let the head just rest into the hands We're going to take a seated twist from here. So whatever way you're seated, cross legs or however that is, this is our last asana. We're going to place that right hand to the outside of the left knee, whether you're cross legged or on your heels. And we're going to twist by taking that left hand behind us, drawing the shoulders down and turning the head to look behind you. Soften the look in your eyes. Imagine you're looking at something you really care about. And then come back into center, do the same thing to the other side. Left hand to the outside of the right knee, right arm behind you, and twist. And then back into center again. Go ahead and lay down onto your backs. You can place that blanket under your head or over your body, depending on how warm you are right now, and let your arms rest down by your sides. Allow your eyes to close. Just let your body rest into the floor. As 
as I mentioned earlier, we have a tendency to find tension in our shoulders and our neck because we feel like we have to hold the weight of the world on our shoulders. As you lay here into the ground, imagine each breath strips away another expectation judgment or responsibility you hold on yourself. Not forever, just for right now. You're allowed the opportunity to let go layer by layer. Maybe it's the title of being a mom or dad or being a CEO at a company. Maybe it's having to travel and get somewhere on time. Maybe it's school. Maybe it's grocery shopping. Every responsibility with each exhale, just letting it go for right now. At this very present moment, you are just a being at rest. just a soul in existence. The control that you act in your life no longer affects you right now. With each breath out, you can let go into the earth, feeling supported and protected and feeling whole. At this moment, you are not a nurse or a doctor, a man or a woman, a husband or a wife, a daughter or a son, a grandparent. You're not a driver. You're not a doer. You have nothing to accomplish but to let go, layer by layer, giving yourself and your body time to rest fully into your being. And when you're ready, start to deepen your breath. Come back into yourself, the self that does have to perform its tasks today. But know that you can at any time drop back into just being, just existing, just feeling support. And then when you're ready, pull your face to your chest, roll it over to your right side, Press your left hand into the ground. And once you come into a seated position, whenever that works for you, go ahead and rub your hands together, creating some warmth. Maybe it's a vigorous rub, maybe it's just a little bit more vigorous than usual, maybe less. And then place your hands onto the throat and the back of the neck. And just feel that warmth coming into your throat, into your neck, into the base of your skull. Sending loving kindness to your neck that holds this very heavy head. And then go ahead and release the hands. Place them right back down onto your lap. And we're going to uh, do 
one seed mantra, one uh, seed mantra for the fruit. So it's hum, if you were to see it spelled, it would be spelled like ham, H-A-M. But you can do this nice and loud because nobody's watching you. Um, or you can do this quietly. Uh, but you're going to take a deep breath in. You're going to see if you can feel the vibration in the throat as you go. Hum. We'll do that one more time. Take a deep breath in. Vibrate the throat. Hum. Give yourself the opportunity to clear out everything that's been stuck in there. And then bring your hands together. Bow your head. Thank you so much for being with me today. Lovely seeing you. Namaste.